Hey guys, it's Amy here and today I'm going to do my first voiceover. Um, it's going to be a small, uh, quick tutorial of how I did my Takashi Shirogani wig from Voltron Legendary Defender. So first of all, um, I need to apologize because yes, I know I record, recorded that video while I was sitting on the floor in my room cutting my wig on the floor in my room. I know guys, I'm trash like that and I'm sorry about that. So for the material you'll need, um, you'll need a foam head. I didn't really use mine but it's always helpful to have one. So if you have one, please use it. Um, you'll need a pair of wig scissors. I bought mine on Arda Wig. I'll leave a link in the description below. You'll also need some threads. Uh, please be sure to use a thread that is the same color as the wig you're sewing. You'll also need some comb. The blue one I got it on Arda Wig and I bought the red one at Walmart. You'll also need some stunning clips, a pair of regular scissors. You'll also need a wig needle to sew the two wigs together. Um, I bought mine on Arda Wig, but again, if you don't have one, you can simply use a normal needle for that. And of course, in order to do Shiro's wig, you will need a white wig and a black wig. Now that we have everything, let's get started. Before you cut your wigs, be sure how big you want the bangs to be. Then, basically what you're gonna do is cut your white wig where the net is thicker and go as far as you want the white part to be. Then you're gonna do the same thing to your black wig and be sure you're cutting the black part and the white part equally. Also, while you're cutting the wig, be sure you're only cutting the hair that goes in the front and not the one that goes backwards. Once the wigs are cut, it's gonna be a mess. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal. Now all you need to do is to sew the white bangs on top of the black wig. And ta-da! You're now done with the base of your Shiro wig. Now all you need to do before the wig is fully done is to style it. But since I'm a person that needs to wear the wig uh, for styling, I didn't record it in this video guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, as soon as the styling part is done, you're ready to rock your Cheryl cosplay. That's it for today guys, I really hope that this tutorial will be helpful to some of you and I will be back in another video.